Welcome back to the High C Error Report. My guest today is Kenny Kurtzweiler, candidate for El Dorado County Supervisor, District 5. District 5. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. No so, problem. So people want to know, what are you doing? What are you up to? Who are you talking to? What are you talking about? I mean, what's, you know, it's a campaign. What, what's going on? Well, there's never a lack of anything to talk about, especially in my life, because I do such a multitude of things in this town. Uh, you know, most of the things that I'm talking about pertain to the upcoming election in District mm -hmm. 5, and I am answering every question that everybody has for me. I said before, during, and after all of my forums that if anybody has a question for me, they can call me. I give out my cell phone number. They can come over to my house. When they see me on the street, they can stop to me and talk to me. And I am out every single day interacting with hundreds of people a day, just through my business and, uh -huh. and just the interaction in the town. And it's, uh, it's working. People are talking to me, just similar to the ski bum articles, but this time it concerns you know, the community and District 5 issues. So what are some of the issues that come up more often than others? A sense of community and a sense of uh, uh, discord with the current Board of Supervisors, as well as the discord with the current city council members. They, most of the people in the community that live, work, and breathe Lake Tahoe and Pollock Pines, now that I'm running for District 5, they, they, just, they feel there's such a discord with the, with the elected people and them and us, because I'm one of the, I'm one of the, uh, right. one of the community members, it's, it's, there's no lack of communication. Okay. And, and it's, I don't know if it has to do with on their part or our part, but it's not up, us to, up, up to us to find out the information. It's up to our elected officials to get the information to us. Okay. We're going to come back with Kenny after the following messages, and we're going to talk about the 56-acre project and more. Stay with us.